Hey guys, it's Mike at You Are The Path. Just wanted uh, to shoot this video, thought you might want to join me while I come out here into the garden to get some fresh air and to have a cup of tea. So, I mentioned on the last video that the theme that I've been covering is uh, facing fear and taking that next step forwards, accepting what shows up in the body, not trying to push it away. And I guess the theme for the channel then is finding a way to live, finding a way to live, live with ourselves. Because, you know, we find ourselves in this kind of predicament that we're here living life we've not been given a manual as to how to go about living life and along the way we, we pick up we cup we pick up vices and addictions as a way to kind of fill up this hole that we have or at least life can be like that sometimes and if you're in that place right now where you've, you're struggling with your vices, whatever you did yesterday, I have a smile for you. Because you're a human being just like me on this earth. Learning what it is to live, to find a way to live, to find a way to function. And to be okay with life. So what do you do when the roads lead to nowhere I used to go to the gym and I'd go to the gym and it was somewhere where I could go and there would be other people there you know doing their thing I guess sometimes we need to be able to go somewhere whether it's somewhere where we can go and feel accepted people know us out of being sat behind your desk a time in the day where you can take yourself out of the box and that's what they say is the benefit of going out whether you go out to a bar for a casual drink or go out to be around other people we we are very we are very much social creatures at least that's what I've read and I, I I do believe it's true that we are social we're a social animal there's a benefit to being around other people especially other people that share our values and are like-minded and when we're around other people in public we realize that you know life goes on and there are other people here going through their own trials and tribulations and sagas. The freedom to grow, you know, there aren't any shoulds or ought to, like you should do this and you need to do that. And I think we put so much pressure on ourselves and this Western society puts pressure on us and the adverts and stuff that are out there and lose weight now and be healthier and you need a better job and a better house and a better car and better skin and it's, oh gosh it's just sometimes I think to myself you know it's just all too much <laughs> and I just want to sit here and look at this tree for a bit and breathe and just be content for, for just a moment to be content with my lot and I guess that's where I want to come from with these videos is you know sharing my experience with you in in the journey of learning to to live and learning what the purpose of life is I come across this uh, young guy he's called Steve I'm gonna put the link up here if it's not there come back in five minutes it'll be there and he was talking about finding the purpose of life and 
questioning whether the purpose of life is to find happiness. Because the ego suffers when we don't get what we want. And then we get what we want, and the ego still suffers when we get what we want. Because we grow tired of it, and then the ego wants more. It's the nature of the mind. It seems to be the nature, nature of the mind that it just wants a bit of pleasure. And sometimes we fall into our vices because we don't know the greater pleasure of life without those vices. It's like when you're smoking, all you know is the pleasure of smoking. You don't yet know the pleasure of not smoking. So we're, we're, we're driven by our desires. But back to the purpose of life, he was talking about how some people, their purpose of life is to help others. And I'm beginning to tune into that now and it brings me joy to wake up in the morning and know that, okay, I get the opportunity to make a positive impact on someone else's life and to help someone else. And although, you know, I, I have my own ego like everyone else, you know, I want to get loads of coaching clients, I want to earn a decent living and all of that, although that is there, I really do suspect that I could I could have all that and still not be satisfied. So, what am I saying? I'm saying I'm not saying to let go of your ambition. You know, it's not that we drop our ambition to expand and and to become greater, but to just take moments out of the day, just to. You know, let 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 what the ego wants just let that go, and just to be be for a bit, and to be content with where we are. And if we're not content with where we are, accepting that we're not content with where we are. And if you can't accept it, you can accept that you can't accept. You can accept that you can't accept it so it's not resisting the experience so is the purpose of life to be happy I don't know maybe it's to experience the experience to ride the ride of life rather than having all these expectations of what if this happens and what if that happens and what if it doesn't work out and just oh blooming heck you know just let that all just go with it we're on 10 minutes. I don't want these videos to be too long. I hope you got something from that. Catch you later.